practically what she's trying to say is i beg know god know yourself first before any shakara boy will just come and do you anyhow eh? hey guys welcome back to the channel this is your girl ajwa you are watching ajwa on this tv so if you are new here you are so welcome and to my old subscribers thank you so much for um coming back all the time to watch my videos so guys today's video is still on the matter for betrayal and forgiveness guys this is the part three of the video so if you haven't watched the part one and two please go into the subscription box i will put the link down there so that you will understand this video fully in today's video my guest is sharing with you guys how she was betrayed how she managed to overcome betrayal and some tips that she did to forgive the people who betrayed her and who hurt her so much so you guys please stay tuned and yeah don't go anywhere and please don't forget to subscribe to share to like and hit the notification bell for more yeah the best thing guys to do is to to speak it out because communication is very very important sometimes i might do something to you i don't even have a clue of it so if you don't come to me and you don't tell me what's what's up what's going on yeah, I don't know, but yeah. some people too, it's intentional character, as Deborah is saying. They know perfectly what they do, but they won't they won't address it unless you, you go to them. Yeah, they won't hold it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And one other thing that personally helped me when I was dealing with forgiving different people that were actually close to me and hurt me. Um, was Bible says that we should pray for those who um, hate us, persecute us. Mm -hmm. So, well, it might not be that the person actually persecuted you, but still pray for them. Mm -hmm. Like when they, when their thoughts come to your mind, pray. Mm -hmm. I know it's difficult. I remember the first time I came because I I really the. There were particular two people which were really close to me who have hurt me at that moment, and I really didn't know how to deal with it. Like, the more I thought about it, the more I, I felt hurt because, as I said, they were really close like, you know, close, okay, it's really, really close. And I, I didn't understand how they would do that and to that extent. And the more I thought about it, the more it hurt me, the more I was in pain. But so I was talking with God and I was like, how do I deal with it? And then he was like, okay, this moment you view them as your enemies and the Bible says pray for your enemies. I was like, wow, that, that's so hard. Yeah. But I would mention their names and I'd be like, God bless them. God bless their hearts. God mm -hmm. um, empower them. God lead them, you know, to the right path. I was just like proclaiming positive things into their um, life, even if in, in that moment my feelings were not aligned with it. Mm -hmm. But eventually with time, you know, <laughs> the feelings of anger and all of that reduces mm, yeah. and your work actually coincide with what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, if, um, if someone hurts me and I say, okay, Let's say the person comes to me and asks for forgiveness and I say, okay, I forgive you, but I can't forget. Oh, okay, so God asks us to forgive. He doesn't ask us to forget. Mm. I think, um, I don't know, I don't know why, but in churches, most of the time, it's like, forgive and forget. I don't know where it's, I actually don't know where it's written. Um, oh, wow, I, I didn't know the this. The of not forget. Sorry? I didn't know about this, the the part of not forgetting. I thought it's well, like forgive and actually, forget. I think it's a, it's a phrase that it's actually like it actually just came up, you know, that, made like, by man. Like God, God help those who are themselves. It's actually not in the Bible. So. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'll still check it later, so in case you in the description box, you can, you know, okay. precise if it's actually there or not, but I think I, I searched for it and it's actually not there, mm. and so God asks us to forgive, and that is, that is, uh, let me put it in quotes, our command, you know, not mm -hmm. to, to forgive. The fact of 
forgetting we are human. Mm-hmm. Like we have brain. God has given us brain. We are in his likeness. Mm-hmm. We have mind. Mm-hmm. So yes, it's 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 a pop up. You know, the the, the yeah, like mm-hmm. once in a while the it's situation will thing. come back to yeah. your mind. But yeah, but it's the feeling connected to it. That okay. is what makes a difference. Mm-hmm. So the fact that after some years, okay, or oh, after a time, it's not necessarily years, but after a time, you think about the same situation, you're like, oh, thank God, I don't feel angry. I don't feel mm-hmm. embittered. I don't feel, you know, like, okay, okay, right, it happened. And you also learn, you know, you learn from you know, situations mm-hmm. like that. There yeah. are things, lessons that if you are conscious about it, you actually can learn from it. But things that you will not also repeat probably to someone else and all of that. So I feel it's actually almost also a gift, the fact of not forgetting. Mm-hmm. Because if you should forget all the times... You will be then, hurt all the time. You will learn from life. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. I did you know this. So it's a normal thing for you to be able to forgive and not forget. Because yeah. it's part of it. Yeah. Because if you forget, probably the will be there. They will shoot him. Said they are done. Will be shoot him. Yes. So, so I just wanted to ask if you have been betrayed before, and this is this has to be very quick because as the time is far being spent, if you have been betrayed before, and how did you deal about it, and how did you forgive the people or the person who? Who betrayed you? Hey, well, I just guess, like I said in the course of that conversation, mm-hmm. uh, um, yes, I have been betrayed before um, in trust, and yes, I was say in trust, and it hurt because, as I was saying, it was from people that were actually close to me. And I think, well, as I was saying, depending on how close the person is, mm-hmm. it hurts even more. And, you know, there were people who were really, really close to to me and to my heart and all of that. So, um, whatever they did, I wasn't expecting it. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I wasn't expecting it, of course. And so, it's, it's devastated me. It's, I remember the first okay so it has to be brief but I remember the first few days after I had um after I got the the information of what was going on or, or to the length to which they had actually betrayed me I remember going like on for days and I really felt like a zombie like I'll be walking but I didn't feel myself because okay. I was like this can't be me like it, it doesn't feel real it doesn't yeah. feel like you know, it's actually happening to me. And um, it, it was, it took time. It took uh, me actually going to God. It, in my in my case, um, I actually had like, that was one of the times I actually had like a live experience with God, like a, a true experience with God. I had gone to a conference and, um, they said, okay, so if anyone needs prayers, you should come forward. And I remember that particularly as I stepped forward, uh, the guy that came to pray for me was like, you know, God loves you and God wants to know you, wants you to know him better through his word. And he kept giving me words. And the more he was talking, I literally felt like I had um, a fountain of water going through my body like literally and it was kind of washing the pain away Mm. it's not like from there to the next day um i wasn't hurt anymore but i i knew that god has started a work in me um Mm. i know not everyone not everyone had that experience or everyone everyone will have that experience but um Going back to the first point, I gave is going to God, knowing that He's the only one. Because I remember, yes, I, I used to speak to you about you know the whole situation and how He devastated me, and I'll rant and I'll talk and everything. But I remember that even there, at the point, um, that the Holy Spirit was also like 
as I just I said before, like she was t- reminding me or telling me, you know, Debbie, the more you're talking about it, because it's not like we were progressing. I, I just kept, you know, I, like, I don't understand, like, how did it happen? Like, and then, you know, the next day will be like, I don't understand. Like, mm-hmm. how did it happen? Yeah. And the next day will be like, I don't know. Like, there was no progress. Yeah, yeah. So I was just giving life to the pain, mm-hmm. you know, that was within. So actually stopping and taking it to God and talking over with God. And the thing is that even with God, it's, it's better to keep on talking, even if you're repeating the same thing with God, than still with a human being. Mm-hmm. Because in the meantime, God is working on you. Yeah. Even if you don't see it, He's working on you. And it's not like that with a human being, not because the person is not a good person, because the person is not good. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, God told me to it, and it was a process. Like, I still remember what happened. I still remember. Um, but it doesn't hurt me the way it did hurt me then. Mm. So now when and, you talk about it, yeah. it's indifferent for you. Like, you don't, you don't care, let's say. The pain is no more. Well, the pain is no more. Indifferent. Uh, and have you forgiven the person? Oh yeah, I did. Like, yeah, I did. Um, okay, so yeah. it is my in this particular thing I have to have with two people, and one actually, well, actually in both cases, I spoke with them. Um, were you the one who confronted them, or they were yeah, the people who I, came I, to yeah, yeah, yeah. you? That has been betrayed because I was the one who was. For, like, who was in pain? Yeah? Mm. The other thing, forgiveness is a gift because yeah. I was the one who was bothered. Mm-hmm. Those people are going on with their lives. Mm-hmm. They, they, lives couldn't, yeah. they couldn't bother any for what, what what they did. Like, mm. I was the one who was literally torn apart. So it was either I spoke up and freed myself mm-hmm. or I was going to be en- en- enslaved. And you know, when you are free, you are when you're not forgiving someone, you're actually a slave to them. Because now, based on whatever they decide to do, if, if they, for example, you go to a party and you know that this person is coming, all of a sudden your mood changes. Yeah. Okay, so now you are happy, you're excited that you're going to the party or whatever, Catherine, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And now, because you know the person is in, all of a sudden you are angry, you're angry, you want to leave the place, you are like. So, indirectly, the person is controlling your life. Mm-hmm. Like, even if it's for a few seconds, the person is controlling your life. So, to so relinquish that, I would rather forgive and gain back control of my life or rather, like, surrender my life back to God. So yeah, mm-hmm. I think confront the future. Okay. Well, so the thing is that both both parties actually never actually admitted to whatever happened. So as you know, as you were talking earlier on, you know, what if the person doesn't um, at own uh, their mistake, or what what if the person you know doesn't accept? Yeah, in both cases, actually, one after the always said like. After they said nothing ever happened, like the person being betrayed me the same way I thought they betrayed me. So imagine if I was to hold on to them, by right now I feel you have been on forgiveness because the person never owned their their actions. Mm-hmm. The other person, on the other hand, you know, they admit to it, but they actually also say no to it. But yeah, in the end of it all, it was from, I needed it from you. So, For yourself. Um, yeah, the times where I also like finished my, I was like, okay, you hurt me. I didn't like what you did. Uh, I didn't like what you did. Yeah, um, I was disappointed of maybe I felt good, but I decided to forgive you. And sometimes ended with an I love you, and mm-hmm. I love you that I tra- trust me as I was saying it. You know, that like, mm-hmm. they were taking my gut out of my soul, <laughs> but I knew it was for me. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay, so bringing this um, talk to an end, what would you tell anyone who is listening to you, 
any small advice for for your mini self or I don't know for anyone who is listening. Um, even if we are living in a social era where we socially bombarded by social media, mm -hmm. and so where the uh, where people move move following a trend, so the everyone does this, everyone is doing this. Mm -hmm. There to be different. There to be unique. There to let your uniqueness come out and let your light shine. Yeah. Um, it might be difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be might. It will be difficult because if everyone is going left and you decide to go right, it's it's hard yeah. because why are you not just going left as everyone That's else? Everyone. But at the end of it all, oh, it's worth it, mm -hmm. and you stand out. At the end of it, or maybe you are. If, so instead of you become following a trend, you would rather become a trend. Mm. Maybe not today, but tomorrow yeah. you will. Mm. And um, um, still in the uh, in a social media era, that we are still seek to find. Um, Trust with trustworthy through real tangible friends. So yes, you have friends on social media. Maybe you have thousands of followers, but still strive to have one, two close real friends, people that see you, people mm -hmm. that you can touch, people that you can, you know, like it's very very important. That, yeah, that when you are crying. They can actually see you crying, so yeah. they, it's not just on social media. Mm -hmm. And last, I put last, but actually it's supposed to be in the heart of everything, seek God. And I know seek God is too broad, because it would be like, oh, how do you seek God and all that? But, you know, like, follow God, hold God, ah, let God be everything, because mm -hmm. that is what she needs. Yeah. Even before you think about, I'm not even entering there, or am I? Before you even start thinking about uh, boyfriend or everything, if you don't know who you are, you are. You you want, <laughs> if you don't know who you are, you don't know what kind of day you want. Guys, so if you want to know more, go follow her play. What she's okay. trying to say is, I beg, know God, know yourself first, before any shakara boy will just come and do you anyhow eh? okay guys so i hope this talk show helped someone and um, basically i hope you have learned something and um i hope this is going to help you so um you guys can actually share your your experiences with betrayal and forgiveness as sister debbie told us forgiveness is basically for ourselves it's not for the it's a gift for ourselves if you are forgiving someone you are not doing the person that you are forgiving a favor but you are rather gifting yourself something because if you forgive someone you are free Yes, you are free, guys. Imagine when you are so angry and mad at someone and um, the person is living his or her life and you are the one going through the trauma. So you forgiving someone is basically for yourself. And the saying that it's going on, actually, I didn't know. I've learned something today that forgive and forget. They say it's never true because you we are humans and you can't just forget, but you can forgive. OK, so it is a normal thing for you to forgive and not to forget. All right, guys. So please, um, if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel because a whole lot is going on on this channel. And um, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. And don't forget to hit on the bell button so that every video that I will upload, you will have it. You will be the first person to watch it. I will see you in my next video, guys. I love you so much. And may God be with you. Stay safe and stay healthy.